If you're looking for an easy but delicious meal, steak and corn on the cob over the campfire is a must. This meal might look complicated, but it's actually one of the easiest things to cook because you literally just throw it over the campfire, let it cook, take it off, and enjoy. A couple of quick tips before you start cooking your steak and corn. We always pre-soak our corn with the husks on in water. This is going to keep the corn nice and moist as we put it over the really hot heat. The cooking process continues okay. with... The corn. The what? The corn on the cob. So this has been soaking in water. Um, now, because we have corn and husks, we're just gonna put it directly on the grate because the husk is gonna protect the actual corn. If your corn is not in a husk, wrap it in uh, tin foil. And if you're not comfortable cooking it over the campfire, you can always cook it over your camp stove or camp barbecue that you have with you. So lots of options. We also take our steaks out of our cooler about half an hour before we're going to cook them to let them get down to temperature. This is gonna make sure that they cook more evenly when we put them in the cast iron skillet. Once you're ready to cook, season your steaks, put some oil in your cast iron pan, and let the oil get steaming hot. Once it's hot, throw your steaks on there and throw the corn over the fire. The length of time you cook your steaks for is gonna depend on two things, how big your fire is and how you like your steaks cooked. We had quite a large fire and we like our steaks pretty rare, so we only did a two minute flip on each side. For the corn, don't be afraid if the husks start to look burnt. Your corn on the inside is still cooking nicely and will be absolutely delicious. Once your steaks are cooked, take them off the heat and let your meat rest before cutting into it. This also gives you a little bit more time to finish cooking off your corn on the cob. You can also cook this entire meal over campfire coals if you don't wanna do it over an open fire. Okay, so the first uh, corn on the cob that we have is with some like cilantro lime butter. Um, I pre-mixed this before we came. Recipe's in the description below. Andy's gonna give it a try. We normally eat our, our corn pretty plain, so I don't know if we're gonna like this, but. It's not too far from how we usually have it, but the lime, you definitely taste the lime and it's very refreshing. So if you're looking for like a twist on corn on the cob, this is it. Corn number two is supposed to be like a Mexican street corn. I think we're gonna probably fail on this one because it's supposed to have garlic in the butter, but I can't eat garlic. So I brought Andy garlic powder, but it's basically butter, garlic. You're gonna top it with some Parmesan cheese and then top that with some uh, parsley and hopefully it tastes good. Oh, and you might wanna add some salt and pepper. Season to your taste buds. <laughs> Look so sad. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, we're gonna nix this one, I think. Well, no. <laughs> Hang on. Don't. Oh, what is even going on with that? Oh my god. It's like, supposed to be four bites. Oh, three bites now. Okay. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay, if you can get over how it looks, guys. <laughs> 